What do you do, Smith? I revise history. That's an unfortunate way of putting it. What you actually do is to rectify speeches and wrongly reported incidents, isn't it? Yes. Show us how great the need is for establishing new speakers, the official language, as soon as possible. When the new dictionary is issued, there'll be less danger of calling things by their wrong names. 6748 Smith W. Reference Big Brother's Order Gazette, November 12th, 1983. Since the Eurasian offensive has opened at South India, it is impossible that Big Brother predicted this front would remain quiet. Rewrite entire speech. Show that through our magnificent espionage system, Big Brother has prior knowledge of all the enemy's plans. Thanks, Amber's Gazette, November 12th, 1983. Sign 6127S. The following men have been found guilty of treason and no longer exist. Conrad Zarlinger, Gordon Prentice, Harold Scholl. Delete all reference to them from the Gazettes of January 2nd, 8th, and 26th. Back Numbers Gazette, January the 2nd, 8th, 26th. What have you got there, Smith? This photograph was between the pages of the Gazette. What photograph? Jones and Rutherford. They confessed to aiding the underground and being in Eurasia during hate week. But here it says... What are you talking about, Smith? I don't see any photographs. No photograph of the traitors Jones and Rutherford exists, does it? No. The system is not perfect. Sometimes there are errors. Attention, comrades. Take your places for the two-minute haste. What have you done with Julia? She betrayed you, Winston. You tortured her. I've watched over you for a long time. Now I'm going to help you. First, there are some preliminaries to be gone through, but after that, you will be brought to me, and we will talk. So the time has come, Winston. Do you know where you are, Winston? The Ministry of Love. Right. Do you know how long you've been here? Days. Weeks. Months, it must be months. Do you know why we bring people to this place? Yes. To make them confess. You don't really believe that. No, I suppose I don't. To punish them. No. We bring them here to cure them, to make them sane. Nobody that we bring here ever leaves our hands uncured. Why don't you kill me? The first thing you must understand about this place, Winston, is that there are no martyrdoms. You've read of the religious persecutions of the past. They were failures. They set out to eradicate heresies and they ended by perpetuating them. We do not make that mistake. We make them tell the truth. Why bother with me? You are a flaw in the pattern, Winston. You are a stain which has to be wiped out. And when finally you confess to us, it must be of your own free will. We do not destroy the heretic, we convert him. We capture his inner mind. We reshape him. We burn all evil out of him. We bring him over to our side, not merely in appearance, but genuinely. Heart and soul. We make him one of ourselves. No one whom we bring to this place ever stands out against us. 
We will lead you step by step to the point from which there is no return. Never again will you be capable of love or friendship or joy of life or laughter or courage or curiosity or integrity. You will be hollow. We will squeeze you empty and then we will fill you with ourselves, with love of Big Brother. Now, before we begin your cure, are there any questions you would like to ask? Where is Julia? She's alive. Next question. Does Calador exist? Does the underground exist? That, Winston, you will never know. But that question, Winston, proves that you are mentally deranged. You have a defective memory. You are unable to remember real events, and you persuade yourself that you remember events which never happened. For example, do you remember receiving a book supposedly written by Calador? Yes. Somebody gave it to me in Victory Square. I'm quite sure that that book ever existed. I want the truth, Winston. Tell me what you think you remember. I had the book. Take him away. Let us take another delusion of yours. You believe you had in your hands a photograph of the traitors, Jones and Rutherford. I did have it. You believe it was some sort of documentary evidence proving their confessions were false. I remember telling you that the photograph did not exist. It did exist. It does exist. It exists in my memory. I remember it. You remember it. I do not remember it. There is a party directive dealing with the control of the past. Repeat it to me. Who controls the past controls the future. Controls the present. Controls the past. And where do you suppose this past exists? In records. The party controls all records. And in human memories. The party controls all human memories. How can you control the memory? You haven't controlled mine. On the contrary, you haven't controlled it. That is why you're here. You've been lacking in humility, in self-discipline. You must make an effort of the will, Winston, and rehabilitate your mind. Then you will be sane. But first, you must be humble. Do you remember writing in that diary of yours that freedom is the freedom to say that two plus two make four? How many fingers am I holding out? Four. And if the state says not four, but five, how many? Four. Take him. Now, how many fingers? Point two oh. Point two oh. One, two, oh. How many fingers, Winston? Four. Four. Point three oh. Point three oh. One, two, three. That's no use, Winston. You're lying. You still think there are four. How can I help seeing what's in front of my eyes? Two and two are four. 
Sometimes. We've had all that out before. Sometimes they are four, sometimes, if the state says so, they are five. How many fingers? I'm trying to see five. Which do you want? To persuade me that you see five, or really to see them? Really to see them. Point six oh. Point six oh. One, two, three, four, five. Again, how many fingers? I don't know. I don't know. Four, five, six. In all honesty, I don't know. Better. Now, Winston, without any persuasion. There are five fingers there. Do you see five fingers? Yes. Look at me. Did you ever read a book by Calador? No. No such book ever existed, did it? No. You see how the mind can be controlled and washed clean. Even the traitors, Jones and Rutherford, in whose innocence you once believed. In the end, we broke them down. When we had finished with them, there was nothing left in them except soil for what they had done. And love of Big Brother. Stand up. Come over here. That's enough. It's a long time since you've seen yourself, Winston. Look. What? What have you done to me? Can you think of a single degradation that has not happened to you? No. I'm prepared to separate and never see one another anymore. No. Julia. Julia! I have not betrayed Julia. I have not betrayed Julia. No. No, that is perfectly true. You have not betrayed Julia. Come with me, Winston. curious about room 101. It is not one room, but many. This one, for instance. You're going to find out what lies beyond that door, Winston. But to whet your curiosity, I will give you a hint. In room 101 is the worst thing in the world. Of course, that varies from individual to individual. It may be burial alive, or death by drowning, or by fire, or by impalement, or 50 other deaths. Which death do you fear most in all the world, Winston? You needn't answer. You've already told me. A rat. A rat. It's gone now. 
thing I really hate. The one thing I'm really afraid of. Why? When I was a child, where I lived, there were swarms of them. One day, my, my sister. Will you lead the way, Winston? Not to me. Not to me. To Julia, not to me. I don't care what you do to her. Let her suffer. Not to me. To Julia. Not to me. make them stop. But it's not true. The time when it happens, you mean it. All you care about is yourself. You don't feel the same way about the other person any longer. No. You don't feel the same any longer. 